Shade 45. It's the homie Gray Rizzy, man. I got, look, it's 2017. <laughs> I'm fucking happy I made it this far. You man, Trump's in fucking office, but fuck it, we gonna get past all that. It's Friday right now. I got my brother in the building. We do this for the hottest artists oh, with their albums. And yours is here finally. We we talked about this over a long time. Mm-hmm. He's representing the Carolinas by way yes, of ATL yes. right now. Talented, talented brother. Thank you, man. Happy to know you, man. Mr. Nick Grant's in the building. Man, what's up, man? Well, uh, shit, a lot, man. We oh, in a man. new year. Absolutely. New money. Feels good, too. New projects. New projects. Return of the cool. Out now. Yo, Go man. Grab it. Congratulations <laughs> for you, too. Nah, thank you for having me, man. It's a very exciting time for me, like. I'd be a fool to complain. I'm loving it right now. You, you know, you know how it is, and especially with the person that you have uh, to the left of you. I just want to uh, go ahead and give my salute, Mr. Jason Jeter is in the building. Mr. Amir yes, yes, Boyd yes. is in the building. There's a lot of cats in the building. Yeah. So um, that's how I know it's serious <laughs> for you, man. Love, 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 love. So return to the cool, man. I, this is about the music. I want to be clear about that. This is Shade 45. We do nothing but real rap up here. Wow. So um, we're all about the talent, and I want to jump right into these songs. Can we do that? Let's do it. So I have uh, I got eight songs. That's eight how we songs. that's how we play up here. I pick some songs. You got more than eight songs on the album. Yeah. I think it's what twelve, thirteen, something like that, right? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I do I go ahead and choose eight, and okay. I want to start off with sometimes featuring yeah. Dominic Gordon. That's how you start off the album. You set the mold with that. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you put this together, man, the mold, and how you, you know, getting into our studio to produce this. Oh, man, for me, it was just, you know, just getting in and, and having fun. It started out like a mixtape. You know, I wanted to do another mixtape. You know how I am. I'm just so eager to get in the studio and just work. I'll be having like a million different things. Right, my mind right. And I just got to, it's therapeutic for me. So this body of work started off like a mixtape. And, you know, me and Jason sat down. He was like, yo, it sounds too good. We got to get into the habit of you know, training a consumer mm-hmm. to, to, to appreciate what you put out. So right. don't let um, them, don't let them speed you up. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it started off like a mixtape and it, you know, obviously became the, the first album, but I just wanted a, a certain amount of soul and take people back to a time when it was about having fun and mm-hmm. dancing and being passionate about the craft and, you know, just caring about the culture for real. So that's what this body of work is about. Just drawing the line of the sand and saying, all this repetitive, trendy stuff is over with, and it's, it's a new time. It's the return of the cool rapper. It's the return of the cool R&B singer. Thank God, man. All of this stuff. So Talk yeah, that shit, that's man. That's what this is about. I couldn't wait, man. You like fucking Neo right now. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like a lot of rap that's out there. I like, it a, I like a lot of the music, but when it gets down to the substance, Neo. <laughs> we uh we need some realness up in here, man. <laughs> Shape 45, first play, man. It's the homie Gray Rizzy. Nick Grant is in the motherfucking building, What's man. What's up, man? Yo, I got this song, um, Drug Lord Couture. Yeah. Now, um, you know, uh, the the the, I guess the the theme of a lot of songs has to do with the drug game nowadays. That yeah, seems yeah, like yeah. that's like just part of your starter kit. Right. But I like how you went into this right here. Like you yeah. almost you play a scene out. And motherfuckers, right. you know, they, they, they get to see, like, oh, okay, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Explain this song a little bit, please. And, and also, what I want you to do, please, because a lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter and Instagram. They want to know more about the production right, as okay. well, who did, a, did the gotcha. production. But let's start with the making of the song. Um, Drug Lord Couture, produced by Little C. Mm-hmm. Um, Where Little C from? It's from Atlanta. Uh, Where's Little C from? It's from Mississippi. Mississippi? Yeah. But he, <laughs> Oh, we did. Oh, that's yeah. why. We, did he? Did he have another name though? Did he go by something else? C. C. Got it. There it is. There it is. See, I'm just yeah. letting you know. I know my shit up here. I'm not <laughs> fucking playing around. You on it? But so go yeah, ahead. that record by no means it was saying I'm a drug dealer. It just talked about how I was inspired by like drug dealer fashion, whether it was like Cuban link chains or even being in the South and like. Knowing about like New York culture with the the A solo boots and the uh, talk your shit, <laughs> go ahead. Mercedes Benz chains and all of this stuff and mm-hmm. sheepskin coats. So just being inspired by that, but also keeping a certain level of lyrical prowess and you know just inspiring people. Just wanting to be classic and I wanted to the music to be rich and soulful and mm-hmm. you know just just stand out lyrically. And Do you ever feel like that's a bit of um? You know, just going ahead and looking back at the history so you can go ahead and tell a proper story. Because I think when you have stories that really aesthetically they look good, like that really look like that burnt out building in the fucking Bronx. Right. So when you tell the story, it makes sense. A lot of people nowadays, they feel like, fuck it, I don't need to, they yeah. need just to need to hear me. I think that's the difference between the sprint and the marathon. 
painting well a said. picture and you know um telling your story and being able to grab your audience and being able to relate to them that mm-hmm. makes them say i can never forget this person because he made me feel a certain type of way Dope. i can't get this vision out of my head when i first heard biggie mm-hmm. um in my in my mother's living room like it was just certain lines I couldn't get out of my right. head. Was Mom Dukes around when you heard Big for the first time? Nah, she wasn't around. <laughs> I was about to say, boy. <laughs> about to say. I mean, it was on TV, so it was like clean. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. You know, it was the video. That right. was like the first time I ever wanted to rap. What so song? What song? Real it was quick. Big what Papa. Song? Ready to Die. That was a good yeah. song. A good video to see, too. 94. Playing at the seed. <laughs> yeah. I see you, man. Exactly. And I'm um I don't think that it's and real quick, I want everybody to hit us up at Gray Rizzy, G R A Y R I Z Z Y at Shade Forty Five. Get your questions in cause these phone lines, you ain't gonna get through, baby. You <laughs> shit. You you might see him, you won't get through for the next two weeks. So don't even worry about thinking about getting through here. Yeah. Um this next song, I, I I'm a big supporter of Nick Grant the person and mm-hmm. Nick Grant's career. Thank you. I don't man. think like that's what? I don't think that's any fucking secret around here. Mm-hmm. Um, I was privy to um, be hanging out with a, a guy named Jason Jeter one time, yeah. and I heard some music beforehand before this yeah. album really came about. Yeah. And um, I told Mr. Jason Jeter, I like the music, but I ain't hear that song yet. Right. Jason looked at me and smiled. Because right. there's a lot of people in the house, and I'm not saying there's any yes men in the house at all, right. because this is a real crew with Culture Republic. Right. But he looked at me and smiled like, I, I, I knew you was going to say that. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. He played this next song, uh-huh. Bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you don't got to play nothing else, man. I, okay, you, you shut me up. You yeah, shut yeah, me yeah, up, yeah, man. Yeah. Talk to me about yeah. this song, because this is it got that beat. It got that bounce. Right. It Absolutely. got them lyrics. Oh, man, for me, that was just like who I am, naturally, as an artist, as an MC, just you know, I'm very aggressive lyrically. So anytime they, you know, allow me to do that and make that kind of feel, that's that's normal for me. So mm-hmm. it just happened so naturally. I just went in there and just wrote it, came out, and it was the record. So when you when you go in the studios, man, and you having you're having your sessions, say yeah. you have other people, other artists, not necessarily artists that may be on the record with you, yeah, but you just got other artists in there. Do they ever give you that look like that? Oh, oh shit, that face like oh, this man. motherfucker right Absolutely. here. Absolutely, they know what's up. <laughs> What's understood yeah, don't need to be said. Absolutely, yeah. I like, mean, it ain't too many things I could do very well, but this is this is one of this them. is one yeah, of them. I pride myself on that. Shit, and you do it well, brother. <laughs> believe you. that, man. Shade Forty Five first play is the homie Gray Rizzy, man. I just want to thank everybody for listening. This is our album special. It's called First Play. Like I said, man, we got Nick Grant in the building. Oh man, thank Return you. Man. The, Return of the Cool is out there right now. Return of the Cool. In case you there. happen to see these cool ass hats and stuff, R O T C hashtag R O T C. That's what the fuck they doing over here. That's what this is all about, man. Yeah. The sing along. This uh-huh. is the next joint that I got right here. Featuring a, a very talented cat, Mr. Rico Barino. Rico Barino, yeah. I don't even want to get into his family because it's about all. This is all about Rico. But shout out to the Carolina, shout out to North Carolina, all ten of y'all motherfuckers from High Point. What's up to y'all? Because that's where Rico's from. You know, my family's from High Point too, so I yeah. can say that before y'all start trying to tweet me with some dumb shit. Yeah. Um, y'all got in this and, and really put together a very soulful fucking song. Man. Now, if someone's just listening to it, they'll be like, "Oh, this is so." The, the the just the music of it right. is dope, but I want to. I just want to say something to some of the people. Niggas talk about keys and we sing along, preach. Niggas talk about bitches and we sing along, preach. Yeah. Everything code Dean and your bankroll mean, right? right? Yeah, nigga, I'm sleep. Yeah, you didn't even sell your soul. It was free. It was free. It's like we got the same shit on repeat. <laughs> Yo, man, like, and that's in the chorus. And yeah, I can see people chorus. singing that in church. That's how strong wow. the conviction that Rico is singing, right? Yeah. But tell me a little bit about that, because just in that chorus right there, you're talking about maybe about a good 79 to 85% of right. the music that's on the radio. Yeah. Um, I said this before, and I'll say it again. I just think it's a time where we live in the era where it's about substance abuse and not substance. Mm-hmm. So um, for me, that record just talks about the, the incline and the decline of the, I hate this term, but the, the trap star, the trap rapper, and, you know, how they treat you along your journey. Because mm-hmm. it's, it's so fast and it goes so quick. It might last a year or two. Um, but the second verse, and it's not me pointing the finger. It's, it's me saying, you know, I got to It's me this. pointing the finger at all you <laughs> motherfuckers. But, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So it's also me saying, you know, I think you should do it this way. The second verse is being, like, talking about that. Um Based on like the people that I grew up listening to, um, I feel like they're here 20 years later for a reason because they live and, and created what was in their heart. And that means something. 
you um you did mention that the the trap star was like it was created by the radio. Um, yeah. How important is it for you to have that catalog and to be able twenty years from now to be able to hit that stage and still get them? Them fucking over, but then they'll be like 40, 50 year olds passing out, but they still throwing their drawers up on the stage. How right. how important is it for you to have that catalog? Man, I love money. I love like, you know, having nice things, but f- more so for me, it's about inspiring other people. Mm. I have nieces and nephews that just watch TV all day. So all day. So if they have these images just playing in their head all day because of the things that they watch, you know, maybe I can say something different because they are very impressionable. I got to say something different to steer them in the right direction. And that's right. that's more so what's important for me, just gotcha. helping others. And, you know, if I got some knowledge, just to give it to them. Yo, man, talking about helping others, man, when you when you can't, just, let, we gonna talk about this hair shit, because I'm seeing your wave spinning right now, <laughs> God, I need some help. But we gonna talk about that off air. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is something I've never done, and I'm gonna put them up on air. If you're not listening, if you're not looking at it right now, obviously you're listening to us. But hit me up on YouTube at Gray Rizzy, G R A Y R I Z Z Y. You need to get you one of these shits. All right, this is <laughs> how you know this is this is like what do you call those? Uh, I mean, what what's the name of that shit? Early adopter. This is an early adopter move right here. <laughs> well, you know, when you, I know you're going to be out of here, so motherfuckers yeah. be like, I'll buy that shit off of you for fucking $30, right. <laughs> and I will sell it. Please believe it, man. I got this next song, man, Um, Gotta Be More, yeah. featuring Mr. BJ, the Chicago Kid. Yes. Now, this is my homie, man. I love this cat, and he just recently went ahead and sent our president off right. He's yeah, in absolutely. Washington, D.C. Big moment for him, too. Very, very big, especially being from Chicago. Yeah, absolutely. When you two get in the studio, what is it like? Man, man, he's like a very down-to-earth guy. You know, that's like very rare today, you know, when you meet people who's like accomplished so much. And he embraced me early on. So mm-hmm. from the first day we ever started working, it was just, you know, a, a mutual respect for each other and, a, you know, just showing love, you know, all, always. And, you know, he's just, just a positive guy, man. Good, good people. Once, good people. once again, very soulful. Um, it's like the the message that's in this right now. Like, yeah. yo, we we as a whole, we we just gotta do more for everything. Absolutely. So why is that important to you right now? Because again, a lot of people. Let's let's, let's not be contrived, right? A lot of people are here for the for for money, yeah. and I'll be the first one to say, let that motherfucker get his money. Because he wasn't going to get it at the Waffle House or wherever the <laughs> fuck else he was going to be at. Right. So let him get his money and at least try to set his family up. But for how sure. important is the responsibility for you to be able to say, you know, sing a song like this, especially with BJ the Chicago Kid? Like I said, it's about, you know, I can do a lot of different things, I, you know, but it's about using your voice and, and saying what's in your heart for real. Like I said, it's about helping others and inspiring others to say different things and leading by example. So I got to use my voice in the right way if I want to further you know my blessings and my story and mm-hmm. and, and be here like i like i said the other people that were here 20 and 30 years i want to have that kind of career i want somebody to pick up this return of the cool album you know in 2037 and say man he was saying that 20 years ago the <laughs> same way i do the notorious big or tupac or right. jay-z right. you know i want to have that kind of effect on people but in a very positive way. Don't think you you uh, that that part where you say I'm the '96 Tupac slip by. Don't think that shit <laughs> slip by the kid. Very powerful yeah. point. I believe it too. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But in fact, we we get into we getting close to that right now. The get down too, man. Yeah. Punana. Yeah. What's up now? You know, I know about that song because I went to a lot of hooky parties back in the Bronx back in the day. Yeah. You, you start talking about that, <laughs> nigga, I will I will cut all my classes for those parties, yeah. man. Tell me a little bit about the get down. Man, it's just talking to a sexy woman, but also being you know finding a happy medium within myself lyrically. Mm-hmm. But just having fun, like I said, not to being afraid to dance. Like, I grew up in the bad boy era mm-hmm. where people used to dance and have fun. And, you know, it was cool. So I want to I wanna kind of live in these times now. Those times now kind of feel like we do at least, mm-hmm. you know, so. What do you, what do you say to the people who, there, there's always balance in hip-hop. And the thing about with the growth of it, there's hip-hop for everybody now. Before, there was only, like, the one kind, and that was what was dictated in New York. And now you get it for everybody where it's international and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think about the balance that you bring to the game right now? Oh, man. Because you, this is it's like three phases of football. And the reason why I'm talking about football is, one, South Carolina's Clemson, 
Yeah. Salute to you. Salute yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They fucking took state. Over. They took over. They went ahead. <laughs> hey, watch it, because, you know, you got to go through Alabama for yeah. some shows. You yeah. don't want to do it. <laughs> we in the fucking see this motherfucker right it's now. It's good. They got me. You know what I'm saying? Secondly, you know, shout to Dallas. I mean, my, my homie's a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm not going to rib them too much oh, on this show, man. but, you know, shout to them. But, <laughs> you know, it's it, like the game of football it's offense, defense, special teams. That's a proper balance. You got all three of those, you're going to win most of your games. Yeah. A lot of people are looking at you like that, too. Like, you pretty much got all phases of this game. You're, you're, you're growing into your own. Man, I, f- I feel like I was blessed with something. Well, blessed with something that people appreciate. And, you know, like I said, I'd be a fool to complain. So I just do what I do, man. If people appreciate it and, and love it and want to hear more from me, then I'll continue to grow and keep going and, you know, prosper in this business. But, you know. The day they don't want to hear me, I'll fall back. You know, the day my voice is just, mm-hmm. I keep that within myself and my people if I had that knowledge. But if you don't want to listen, then it's cool. But for me, you know, while, while I'm here, I'm going I'm to I'm do my best to right. inspire and, you know, chase these dreams that I had, Very had dope. and have had for so long. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's going to be fun, man. You here now. Thank you, man. Yeah, I know Thank you, you ain't man. trying to waste no time while yeah. you here, man. Yeah. Yo, it's first play. It's the homie Gray Rizzy. Make sure you hit me up on that Twitter, on that Instagram, on that YouTube at Gray Rizzy, G R A Y R I Z Z Y. And my homie right here, Nick Grant, he's yeah. still here, man. What is it? Nick Grant Music, right? Yeah, Nick Grant Music, at Nick Grant Music, all social media handles, everything. Very smart. You don't know how many people fuck up on that yeah, right there. Them up and shit. On Twitter, it'd be <laughs> one thing. On Instagram, it'd be another. On Snapchat, you find a little kid in Arkansas is running that, your shit. I was that guy on even front. <laughs> <laughs> That little kid in Arkansas is living. He got like 800,000 followers, man. and it ain't have nothing to do with you, man. <laughs> but he got your picture up there. Yo, yeah. let's get to this joint, man. Return of the Cool featuring B.S., cool. man. Yeah. Now, this is like title the title track. track. Absolutely. What, what, now, when you go into the studio and, and mm-hmm. Nick Grant is making a song for the title track of his project, right? what are you thinking? Because it's super important. Motherfuckers yeah. like, you got to stand on foundation, strong foundation Absolutely. with this song. So what are you thinking about this one? I think it's like a combination of many different things. The, the music has to fit the title, and the title has True. to fit the artwork. So mm-hmm. if all these things, you know, come together collectively and, and you know it just has to feel good the yeah. title i just wanted it to feel sexy because the title feels sexy you know right. what i'm saying so right. when i got my boy b hess who's like very talented r&b singer man he's dope um he's coming out with something soon too so yeah i just wanted it to feel sexy yeah like the, man like the title like the title and talking about the the cover art man shout to natural natural yes yo um I've seen that cat grind for a long time. I haven't seen many new artists who are able to grab him and, and put their his artwork yeah. up on it, which is which is a big salute to yeah, you. Yeah, thank you, man. But um, very very dope, man. Thank you. Very man. very dope. B Hess is another motherfucker. If you're in a relationship, you might want to guard your girl's phone. <laughs> I just want to be want to be clear about put the disclaimer out there. Yeah, man. But very very talented, thank man. You, man. Shade 45, first play, man. I want to thank everybody for listening. I want to thank um, Nick Grant for making sure the helicopter stayed outside on 6th <laughs> Avenue. Um, so thank you for being here, sir. Yeah, one more announcement. Stephen Colbert tonight. Stephen Colbert tonight. Yes. Yo, look at look at that shit, man. Yeah. Yo, you doing your thing, brother. Yeah, check it out. I, you think I won't? I, 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 I want to be clear about something. Like I said, I, I'm a supporter of this cat. Anytime, anytime I'm in any state and I hear that this guy got a show, I will show up. Not only show up, I'll bring my whole fucking family out. I dragged the kids out to him in Atlanta. Kids was tired as hell. And the, yeah. the funny thing that I saw from all that, because it's not about me, it's about you. But people were re- very impressed because the kids were there. And my, my son really listened to you. In fact, when I told wow. him I was coming here tonight to see you, he's like, hey, he's the guy that we saw in Atlanta, right? Wow. So you are leaving an impression, Nick. I want you to really understand that. Man, and my son you. is eight. Thank and. You. That that's not without me having to say, yo, this Nick, this Nick, this Nick. Exactly. What you're saying is really getting through to a lot of people nah, of man, all ages. So I always I really salute you on that. Me. Yeah, just thank you for giving me a platform to just tell my story, my life and ideas, man. Like Yeah. I'm forever. Very, very dope, forever man. Grateful. Shout out to everybody that was out at Tree Sounds. Very hard to find in the dark. I just want to be clear about that. Shout out <laughs> to everybody that got GPS. A <laughs> man know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it, it, was, a, it was a dope thing. And then that five, maybe a couple of days later, um, Shout out to Yo Gotti. I saw you um, yeah, yeah. over at Center Stage. Shout out Yo Gotti. Man, I was sneaky you know? over there. I didn't even tell Nick I was there for that. Yeah. But that was that was really good. And again, I'm looking at the faces in the crowd. Right. Mm, they, you got right. all those fucking, you know, those witty line hits. <laughs> but um, getting into the song, man, Luxury luxury Vintage Rap. This yeah. is another song that I was like, yeah. 
yeah you, you got to it like this is for all the uh you the you know you have your ballers ballers yeah. it's like the rapper's rapper right here right. and you hit it you hit it thank out the you, park man. thank you it's like the you know the flip side of the return of the cool i wanted i wanted that to be very aggressive and show you what i was inspired by and, and stuff that i grew up listening to and you know from the time i opened my mouth on that record you know what cloth i'm cut from mm. and i wanted you to know that so yeah that's what this record is about yeah, man. Um, I want everybody to make sure how they could go ahead and follow you on your social yeah. websites, any shows coming up. To, I just want you to plug everything you can right now. Oh, man. All social media handles, at Nick Grand Music. We got some special surprises coming. I don't know if, you know, big guy want to let anything out the bag. Tour, tour coming up, by the way. Tour this, coming up soon? Album, yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, working nice, nice. That, working on that. A few other things, too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yo, and if you um, it's funny because I, I thought he was gonna come here with it, but he didn't come. If you need hat, like hat help, like real hat help, <laughs> hit Nick up, man, because Nick is a hat connoisseur too. I just wanted this is like a a, hit, a fucking hidden gift that Nick has, man. Yo, I appreciate you all day, brother. Nah, man, thank you. You I know what it you. is, man. Yo, everybody that's listening, make sure you hit us up at Gray Rizzy on Twitter, on Instagram at G R A Y R I Z Z Y. This will be up on YouTube very very soon, so stay tuned for that. Yes. And um, until next time, you know what it is. We out here, whoa. Love. Okay.